Hi, I'm Alpana Parida. I'm the founder of Tivra. And I wanted to share with you why we chose a very difficult path and that of making helmets made from composite fiber. So most helmets, 99% of the helmets in the world are made from different kinds of plastics, largely ABS, which are very cheap. And then the better quality ones are made of polycarbonates. Polycarbonate as a material is extremely strong. In fact, one of the uh, properties it has is that unless there is very, very high impact, the uh, material doesn't break. And that's why it's, it's great for roofing, it's great for applications where you need that kind of tensile strength. Composite fiber, on the other hand, is made of different materials. The fibers could be carbon fiber, they could be glass fiber, they could be basalt fiber or Kevlar. Uh, multiple materials um, are composite fiber, but when these fibers, because there are millions of them and they are multi-axial, they go in multiple directions and they are bound together by either a resin or an epoxy. And then these layers of different fabrics of this material are laid on top of the other and fused together using further resin and epoxy and heat. Um, that is when a very light and strong material is developed. The strength really comes from these fibers because they are multi-axial. If there is any impact, the impact travels along all these different axes of the fibers. And typically, whenever there is impact on a plastic helmet or a plastic product, impact is concentrated at a single point. But when it is composite fiber, it gets dissipated across the entire surface. Um, we also realized that while most of these helmets are certified, some of the best certifications in the world certify a lot of these helmets, the tests are actually done at less than 30 kilometers an hour. And at higher speeds, 100% of track riders wear only composites because at higher speeds, composites perform and save, whereas plastics fail. So we took this call very early on that we were only going to do composite fiber helmets. Uh, even though it was tougher, it was not as profitable, it was definitely not as cheap and it had much higher rejection rates, it was a harder product to pull off. We really believe that riders should only be wearing this material. The material will either cave in, it will not break really and all the impact will be at a single point. When we look at the composite fiber helmet, we will find that the shell will develop tiny cracks, almost spider-like, across the shell. And a lot of the impact will be on the shell spread across the shell. The head feels a fraction of the actual total impact. And that's really the strength of composite fiber. That is really why we believe all riders must wear composite fiber.